good afternoon everybody today is wednesday and ramadan is in like four or five days inshallah so i am spending this week getting ready for ramadan and i thought i would take you guys with me today to do some grocery shopping and just kind of getting meals prepped for ramadan i'm also going to be kind of like setting some goals and talking to you guys about what i'm planning spiritually for this month and then um oh i have some really cute decor that i want to share with you guys so i'm going to be sharing you guys a bunch of really cool stuff today and hopefully get everybody in the ramadan spirit i just finished getting it ready for the day and i have a couple of products that i have just fallen in love with recently that i really wanted to share with you guys that i'm loving for my makeup this one is the bare minerals complexion rescue you guys have been really good in giving me recommendations for tinted moisturizers and this one um, bare minerals complexion rescue is one of your top recommended ones to me and i have fallen in love with it you guys it's so beautiful it's called a gel cream so it's super lightweight gives the most stunning glow to your skin look at my forehead it's just like like, it's like that glass skin look like, I just absolutely love it it's really light coverage so I did use some concealer under my eyes today okay I set you guys down so I don't hurt my arm anymore um, but my other obsession with my makeup is this gorgeous bronzer from hourglass this is the shade luminous bronze light I think it's their lightest shade of bronzer but it's this beautiful marbled um, light bronze with this kind of like champagne highlighty it's not like super highlighted it's just like this gorgeous like bronzy glow to your skin and it's just the most flattering color you guys definitely have to try it like i wish i had gotten the bigger version um but i just wanted to try it out because i'd never tried it before i love 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 the combination of these two together it's just gonna be like my go-to for the spring and summer so i have to show you guys what leo is doing right now so i got this faux tree because i know that he's going to destroy my other one like i've just accepted it and he's literally still trying to destroy the fake one leo it's not real Okay, I'm standing next to the window now so you guys can see my glow a little bit better. But you guys, I am obsessed with those two products. They would be the perfect pieces to pick up for the spring bonus at Sephora so you guys can get a little bit of money off of that. I'll link all my recommendations for the sale down below. I'm going to share with you guys my little outfit today. So I'm just wearing these wide leg jeans from Free People. They have them at Nordstrom and on the Free People website. I love the raw edge on the bottom and I love how like loose and long. They're not cropped. They're just so so pretty and they are high-waisted so super flattering then i'm wearing this peach colored um, lightweight blazer from nasty gal I'm not gonna lie it's not like the most highest quality blazer but it is super cute and this undershirt is from mango i've raved about this undershirt if they still have it i'll link it down below i like it because it's super thin and good for layering for the spring and summer when it's warm and then i have my little monica venadere little coin necklace on and my usual hot hijab jersey in light mink hijab and i will probably be wearing my little pointed cole Haan mules that you guys have probably seen me wear over and over and over so now that i'm ready i'm gonna go ahead and run to the grocery store i'm gonna share with you guys what I'm getting because we literally have no food and I need to prep a big soup because I love breaking my fast on dates and then having something super warm and hydrating like a really nice healthy vegetable soup I'm in the mood for a minestrone so I'm gonna make minestrone soup with a bunch of veggies okay before I leave I need to feed Leo so let me show you what all this little spoiled brat eats on a daily basis <laughs> raw meat I have a mixture of a Greek yogurt and pumpkin and salmon oil <laughs> You gotta get the salmon oil. He's really not supposed to eat on the counter, but he just never lets me finish. Come on, we're gonna go on the floor. Okay, I just opened my fridge and realized that it's literally so disgusting. So I'm gonna clean out the fridge before I go grocery shopping. And I also need to check my pantry and see what all I need to stock up on. Pantry is doing pretty well i know i showed you guys um whenever i organized it and it's still doing pretty well i'll probably clean up a few things in here i just want to see what all i'm missing so i am missing pasta and i do want to make some of that pretty soon Okay. 
Okay, small setback today. Leo knocked over my camera that was on the tripod and smashed it. So literally I had to go buy a new camera, which actually I feel like is better quality. What the heck? It's the same camera. So I'm gonna have to wait for the other one to be fixed. Um, so I have this one in the meantime. So I'm at the grocery store now. I'm gonna run in, grab the things, and then I will see you guys in a little bit. grocery store I'm so sorry if that footage just looks like crap I tried so I have everything laid out that I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I got is to make the minestrone soup and then also a couple of like dishes to go along with the soup so I got some chicken broth for the soup I got some baby spinach this is gonna go in the soup and I'm also gonna make it as a side dish and then I have some basil to go in the soup some parsley um, what else is for the soup cauliflower I have some some kidney beans and I have just some white beans and then I have some squash and zucchini onion carrot what else I already have celery and I already have um, some marinara sauce that I'm gonna use and, and also garlic and a bunch of spices. So that's basically what's gonna go in the soup. I also found organic strawberries that were like $3 that looked really good. So I got one of those. Actually, I got two, but I'm not sure how I ended up with just one. Um, I'm gonna have to go check and see if I left something in the car. Um, I got some organic eggs. I got some um, Greek yogurt. The 0% one is for Omar, and then the 5% one is for Leo. He's so spoiled. We were running out of olive oil. I also got some gluten-free pasta noodles. These are brown rice pasta. The brand is Jovial. I absolutely love this brand. Their stuff has always been super good, and I don't even feel like it tastes gluten-free. It just tastes like regular pasta to me. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know my obsession with sparkling water, and I used to drink LaCroix and I recently kind of just tried out Waterloo and I love it. It is so, so good. I get the lime flavor. It just goes good with every meal. I use all of the bananas to freeze for smoothies and things like that. So I think that's everything that I got. Everything is put away now and it looks perfectly clean. This looks so much better than it did and it just feels so much cleaner. Um, I was planning on cooking today, but I don't have enough time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just have everything ready to cook tomorrow. Okay, I just sat down at my computer. I was gonna answer some emails and just kind of work on my computer for a little bit. But I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of like prepping for Ramadan spiritually and how to kind of like set goals and kind of like what my goals are for this Ramadan. Making specific realistic goals for yourself during Ramadan is like the key to success. If you just tell yourself, yeah, I want to take advantage of the month and I want to do good and you'll just fall into the habit of doing the same old thing. You have to set specific goals for yourself. So these goals do not have to be anything crazy, you guys. I used to like be hard on myself and just think like oh, if I don't finish the Quran then I failed Ramadan no that is not the point God really prefers you to do consistent good deeds even if they're small my goals are to create like very realistic habits during Ramadan that I can continue throughout the rest of the year so personally for me I just really I can't finish the Quran just because my reading skills are not that strong like i can read arabic but i'm very slow at it and i really like to get the um the message of what i'm reading and like really understand what i'm reading and so for me my goals are to just read at least a small little section of the quran every single day other than the quran my goals this year are to really cut down on my social media time i will be on social media but it will be a very small small percentage of my day and i'm talking maybe like 10 minutes a day and something that i'm thinking about doing is even like setting a timer and having like a designated 
little space of time like at the end of the day or whatever it is where I will be on social media just to check the highlights but I definitely definitely suggest you guys really trying to detox from social media that being Instagram YouTube whatever you're spending the most time on you guys think about that time that you spend on social media if you spent that time doing something productive for yourself and really benefiting you during this month of ramadan like just think of how much we could get done so while i'm taking my social media break during ramadan i'm going to be incorporating a lot more like just listening to and reading things that are very beneficial to me and help me strengthen my iman i'm currently listening to the audiobook called in the footsteps of the prophet peace be upon him and i'm really loving that i'm listening to that on audible i will link that down below this video is not sponsored by audible i'm just really 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 enjoying that book any books that will help me kind of understand the life of the prophet peace be upon him and just how he was and anything like that just really really fascinates me and just makes me love him even more if you guys have any any audiobooks or lectures or podcasts or anything that you guys recommend, please leave them down below in the comments. I'm sure that everybody would really, really appreciate the advice. And if I find anything else that I see beneficial and interesting, then I will definitely let you guys know. Another one of my goals this Ramadan is to really be consistent in making dua after every single prayer. And I really just want to sit down after every single prayer, pause and like make dua and talk to God and ask him for things and thank him for things and just really take that time and then I also want to make sure that I'm making dua like at least once during sujood in each salah that's like whenever you are closest to God is when you're in sujood and I feel like making dua during that time is just it makes you feel so much closer to him so those are just like a few of my goals for this Ramadan um, obviously there's more like giving charity and helping others and um, making sure that I'm going to Shadawi a few times a week so those are kind of like the things that I've written down for the month of Ramadan and I really want to get even more specific as to like what I'm going to do every single day so I hope that kind of inspires you to make your own goals this Ramadan and if you guys have your own goals that you're working on leave them below if you guys have any recommendations for books or podcasts or any lectures or anything that are beneficial like I said we would love for you guys to leave those down below as well Okay, it is the next day and I am currently getting all of my Ramadan decor together and I'm so, so excited. This is the first year that I've kind of invested in some, just a few little Ramadan decor pieces. You guys know that my style is very minimal modern and chic and i wanted that to be incorporated into my ramadan decor as well so i have some really cute stuff to show you guys okay so i have it all kind of laid out on my countertop i'm going to be decorating my dining table and this is just mainly because i really would have loved for all of this to be like on top of my fireplace but i don't really have space on my mantle i don't really even have a mantle we just kind of have a cutout for our tv above the fireplace so this idea would be perfect on either a coffee table or a fireplace mantle but I'm just putting it on my dining table because that's just like the only space that I have. I really wanted to decorate with lanterns and candles. I think that is super chic and Ramadani at the same time. So I found these lanterns at Michael's craft store. Um, I will link them below if they have them online. I'm not sure, but they had some similar ones at um, Target and World Market. I'll try to link some similar ones down below, but I got a big one for the middle and then two on either side. So that's going to be like the main focal point of the centerpieces and then um, I just had these like pillar candles already they're all three different sizes but I just didn't want to buy any new candles so those are inside the lanterns then also I found these at Michael's they're just little um, are they called candle votives I'm not really sure but they kind of were that same gold color and they look super pretty when they're lit they have this like um, gold flecked paint on there so it looks super pretty when they're lit i already had some faux eucalyptus branches um, that i got from amazon a while ago and i'm gonna create a kind of like a garland across the table with this you could obviously buy um, a pre-made garland but i'm just gonna use these pieces and just kind of 
create my own and then um, since I am doing it on the dining table I really just wanted it to be a beautiful tablescape so I have a table runner that I got from Target this is just a beautiful like cream linen-y material and then I have some beautiful little napkins with this little design on the edge and then I found this gold silverware from Target I only got two sets so I'm just gonna use these I think they were like $20 each so I didn't want to spend too too much money and since it is just me and Omar I just thought I'm just gonna get two sets of them these are just little Ramadan um, they look like little cake toppers or maybe like cupcake toppers but I'm gonna see if I have any use for them on this tablescape I thought they were perfect because they were gold and they would match the lanterns this would be beautiful as like a little place setting or even just to put um, on a cake as a cake topper or something like that so so cute I think I got those from a company last year called Eid Party Co or something I'll link them below they have some really good um, Ramadan and Eid decor pieces. I already had these clear little candles that I'm going to be using and then um, I have these little fairy lights that I got from World Market. So I'll link all the pieces that I can down below. I am so excited to get this all set up. I have my tripod right there so we can film it for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, how beautiful is this? I am so proud of it. I even did um, use the little Ramadan place settings, and I think that is super cute. So I'll link everything down below. I obviously do not know how to set a table. I do not know if that's correct. <laughs> I weaved the little um, fairy lights in between, and I still have to light the candles. I love how it's Ramadan-esque with the lanterns but still has the greenery so it reminds me of like spring and summertime so it's like perfect for this time of year. Okay, I went ahead and blew out the candles. I took so many videos and pictures of this. I think this is going to be super cute and a really cute idea for those of you who want to decorate for Ramadan. So now I have to get to cooking. So since I didn't get to cook yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and cook today with you guys. I'm going to make my minestrone soup and then I'm going to meal prep a couple of meals for me and Omar to take to work this weekend and then also since Ramadan is on Monday um, we can eat some of that food for the first day of Ramadan as well. So right now I have the minestrone soup cooking. I'm waiting for all of the vegetables to soften and then I will add the beans and the fresh basil and parsley at the end. I'm also about to get started on some pesto pasta and I always make my own pesto. It's so delicious. All it is is basil, olive oil, garlic, salt, and pine nuts. But this time I didn't, I forgot to get pine nuts so I got I just had some walnuts and I used that and it was perfect. I also have some quinoa cooking and I have the fish that's about to go into the oven. I just seasoned it with some salt and lemon pepper and lemon and olive oil. The pasta is pretty much done cooking now. I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes. I just have to mix all of this together now. I used to add cream to this and make it like a creamy pesto pasta, but I found that just making the pesto in the blender makes it super creamy and I do not even miss any of the cream or cheese or anything like that. So this is all dairy free. Okay, so update, I'm finished cooking. I made the minestrone soup. It smells so good. There's so many veggies. It has um, cauliflower, zucchini and squash, beans, um, and anyways, I will leave the link to the recipe I followed down below. Then I have my fish that I prepared. Here is my pesto. It turned a little bit brown. I guess it kind of oxidized, but it still tastes really, really good. I have the quinoa I prepped, shrimp, and <laughs> I only made, like, all of that spinach only wilted down into this tiny little thing. I forgot that spinach wilts down to nothing, so I'll probably have to go get some more spinach, but that's easy to make, so... That is everything that I have prepped for work and for the beginning of Ramadan. Cooking is done and I am exhausted. So it is now 
almost seven o'clock at night. Um, I sent Omar off to work with some food and we ate a little bit here before he left. Um, so now I am going to go visit my parents and I'm taking Leo with me just because um, we kind of want him to get used to being in my parents' house because whenever like Omar and I go out of town and my parents are going to watch him so I have him in the little carrier. I should have seen what I had to do to get him in here. It was really hard, but we're gonna go over there and see how he does. We are FaceTiming the girls. Hi, Lulu. Hi, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> you guys, look how scared Leo is. <laughs> oh. Don't be scared. Don't be Don't scared. Be scared. It is Friday afternoon. I actually work on the weekends usually so this weekend I work Saturday and Sunday So this is like not the typical Friday that most people would have today is kind of like my Sunday, so I'm getting the house all together and getting everything organized because Monday is um, Inshallah Ramadan, so I just whenever I get off work on Sunday I just don't want to have to worry about anything I just want all my food to be done all of my house to just be under control and um, Not have to think about doing too much on the first day of fasting, so um, I have organized this room. I'm going to be doing a tour of this room very, very soon, inshallah. I'm super happy with the way that it's come together and the closet in here um, was really, really bad. It was like just not organized, so I organized that. Um, so that video should be coming in the next couple of weeks, inshallah. I did get an Amazon package of just like a couple of like random things that I'm going to be using during Ramadan which aren't really Ramadan specific, but since it's about to be Ramadan, I'm gonna be using them during Ramadan. So um, this is a water bottle that is my favorite water bottle. I actually lost mine from last year. I talked about these water bottles in my Ramadan favorites video last year. So I will link that video for you up on the screen above because all of those favorites are still my favorites. Um, but since I lost my water bottle, I don't know, I think I probably left it at work or at yoga or something. Um, I went ahead and got two more for me and Omar. These are the Camelback Eddie water bottles. They have a really cool straw on them where like if you tipped it upside down, it wouldn't spill. But then whenever you go to drink, you have to kind of like bite down on it. It's like a, a squishy straw. I just love having a bottle with a straw to drink out of, especially during Ramadan because it just makes me drink so much more. It's so easy to drink out of these. Um, it has, oh, Leo got his cat here on this because he was playing in the box that it was in. It's a thousand mils, which is a liter, and you're supposed to be drinking at least two liters of water a day. So honestly, like last Ramadan, I was drinking like three of these a day and I had no problem. So I would just drink one for Sahur, one for Iftar, and then one in between so these are really really good to help you keep track of your water consumption during Ramadan I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me so everything that I have planned for the month so far inshallah is um, some recipes so I'm gonna do a Sahur recipes video and then a healthy Ramadan desserts recipes video I'm also going to do like some vlogs I'm not gonna be doing the daily vlog thing um, I just I would rather take advantage of the month rather than vlogging every single day That just sounds like way too much work And then I'm thinking about doing a hijab story because I've never really talked about like what hijab means to me And like why I started wearing it and all that kind of stuff And I think that would be super helpful for a lot of you guys So I think I'm going to be doing that during Ramadan But other than that, I'm super excited for Ramadan inshallah And I'm excited for the upcoming content that I have coming your way very soon Thank you.